there'll always be a love for vinyl. People will always want it, so it will never die or completely die. Well, vinyl resurgence that's come about in the last few years, personally, I think is fantastic. I doubt, I doubt very much that vinyl will die. I think it will always be around. I'm, I think it's the fact that it's made such a big comeback in the last three or four years when everyone had written it off completely, I think it didn't die out when everyone said it was going to, it never will. Vinyl record is an analogue sound medium that is in the form of a disc with inscribed grooves. The first vinyl record was created in 1948 by Columbia Records, where they designed a 30cm long playing record which rotated at 33 RPM and saw the eventual downfall of shellac records. In 1975, the 30cm disc rotating at 45 RPM appeared on shelves and had an enhanced volume and clarity in comparison to the 33 RPM records. The compact disc surpassed the old gramophone record in the 1970s and late 1980s. During the 1970s and 80s, the creation of more advanced cutting equipment took place, which improved the range of the music on the discs, as well as removing some of the distortion. In 2007, vinyl came back into popularity, and by 2010, vinyl sales were rising at a fast rate. Since then, vinyl has become a steady seller, regardless of its digital counterparts such as the tape or CD. Even though vinyl records don't have the same clarity or versatility as CD, there's something about them that keeps people coming back to them. Perhaps we should ask the vinyl store owners what they think of vinyl and its resurgence. Um, I mean, before it became popular, I used to get quite a lot of people in here with their kids and the kids would sort of point at a record and say, you know, what's that? Well, they didn't actually know what it is, whereas now, anyone under, under the age of about 30 who comes in here heads straight for the vinyl. I think a lot of younger people definitely think it's cool, uh, whereas I think uh, older generations may actually have, have grown up with vinyl and still love it anyway. I think people have, have really come to enjoy listening to vinyl because they've heard it from generations being passed down. But it's more than that, it's actually there's been, people are starting to realise that the, the digital format doesn't necessarily bring the, the same experience that you get with vinyl. I mean a lot of people will like the record covers, the experience of holding something classic. I think people have come back to vinyl realising it's a more full of ex fuller experience and uh, yeah they love it and so I, I think the people, even though it's more specialised because absolutely not everybody wants to have a record player and spin the disc on the turntable and think it's too much hard work but uh, for those that are like their music and like their music they definitely want the vinyl. I think people who love listening to a whole album from start to finish is like a reflection of uh, vinyl lovers as well rather than just maybe listening to just like one song then like streaming one song then skipping straight to another completely different artist and um, you know back and forth sort of so I think it's just a constant love for vinyl rather than uh, more than a nostalgia thing. You know if it's the latest trend that's that's fine that's great because a lot of people some people might drop out or you know get sick of it or whatever but a lot of people will love it I think most people will just keep listening to it. You know, there'll always be a love for vinyl. That people will always want it, so it will never die or completely die. And I think people are getting so, so much, so getting into it so much now. Uh, I think it'll always be around, which is great. It's not just vinyl store owners that are keeping the spirit of vinyl alive. Vinyl enthusiasts, both young and old, are determined to keep records and record players alive by expressing their love for the music medium and continuing to buy records. Vinyl was dying, no one was buying vinyl for a while there, you couldn't even get it in the shops. So it seemed like it was gone, it was gone for good, so people started to sell their vinyls. And you wouldn't get much money for them. You'd be lucky if you got two dollars a record. Uh, and then they'd resell them for five bucks or something in second hand shops. And I'd still buy a lot of vinyl from second hand shops at those prices, and it was great. Then it disappeared completely and CDs just took over. And I do regret a lot of things. There's a lot of artists in there who I sold whole collections of because I bought all the collection on CD and vinyl was, at that point, in mid 90s, worthless. As a result, years later, <laughs> as everyone knows, uh, vinyl's making a comeback. People did say for all those years that vinyl sounded better. 
than CDs, and it does. But back in the mid-90s at this point in time, unless you had a twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 stereo system with water-cooled speakers and all the like, vinyl really wasn't an option. It was CDs, so you're stuck buying CDs. Um, yeah, I really do regret selling a lot of those ones now. Especially now that my daughters are grown up and one of my daughters buys vinyl exclusively. So, whole vinyl resurgence that's come about in the last few years, personally, I think is fantastic. Uh, I know, well, I don't know personally, but I know from what I've read that a lot of artists prefer to have their albums released on vinyl. And who wouldn't? A full artwork was spectacular. There's so many CDs, you look at the artwork on a small little piece of a booklet and it just doesn't translate to the site. And when you used to get the old gatefold vinyl albums, you get massive images, you'd get books, pamphlets with them, uh, big lyric song sheets, full fold out posters, and you get a poster in a CD these days and it folds out to that big. It's not a poster, it's a goddamn piece of paper. Vinyl is more homely and warm because um, I think it's the crackling and the um, the playback, essentially. Um, yeah, it's got a hum to it um, that yeah, digital does not have, um, which can be annoying to some people. Some people hate it, but um, to others, it's yeah, it gives the audio um, a sense of warmth and um, enhances it. Listening to vinyl is definitely an experience because. Um, you have basically made the conscious decision to listen to this full album. And a lot of people don't have patience these days with that. They skip from track to track. Whereas with vinyl, as soon as you place that needle down, you have to listen to that whole album. So, well, you could skip, but that's how you break vinyl. Yeah, and it's really relaxing as well. Um, I found people kind of put vinyl on and they you know, lay down, sit down, and just truly listen to the music. And I think, in that way, it's sort of a ritual. If you've never experienced vinyl and listened to it before, you should definitely give it a go. I know it's an old platform and people, some people are deterred by that, but it's really magical. Like, I didn't think I would like it, um, but then I had a go at it and it's completely different to any other audio that I've heard before. Um, it's just something really, really special. I think if you're a music lover, vinyl would be for you. Vinyl being vinyl, it's been around since the days of gramophones and such. Uh, I think there'll always be a market for vinyl. Yeah, I do believe there is a future, just exactly what that entails. We all have to wait and see.